most effective way to handle illegal immigration. The question is illegal immigration, and I'm leading into that question, I want to say this. I hear politicians running for office all the time talk about the laws that they're going to go to Washington and create. And quite frankly, I think that we have become too much a nation of laws. We have more laws on the books than we've ever had. And we have more problems even though we have more laws. If you look at illegal immigration in our country, we have laws on the books that say when you break into this country illegally and you don't follow the proper channels, when you step foot in this country, you are a federal felon. You violated federal law. We have right now in America approximately 50 million people around the world on a waiting list to come into this country legally. We have a process that you're supposed to follow if you want to come to America if you're not born here. We let in, out of that 50 million people, approximately 1 million people a year. Yet, having said that, we have more people jumping the line to get in front of those that are legally waiting and are doing so illegally. My question for our government is, why are federal felons allowed to run free when if any of us went down and robbed the bank, we'd be in jail where we should be? We are allowing illegal immigrants to come into this country, violate our laws, steal our benefits. We've talked about welfare and the public programs that are at the breaking point. If we would get the illegal immigrants off of many of those programs, it would go a great step in helping us solve those programs. So I think we need to enforce the laws on the books. I do not favor amnesty. I think if you're here, you've broken the law to be here, you ought to be shipped back home or put in jail back home and not be allowed to come back. If we'll start enforcing the laws on the books, it'll be a great step forward in helping us solve much of our illegal immigration problem. Wayne Pettigrew. There's a sheriff in Arizona that is uh, basically almost under virtual indictment by this administration because he's trying to enforce the laws that are on the books. If you know Sheriff Joe Carapio, uh, basically a lot of us are fans of him because he's trying to do what's right, which is, as Dustin just said, enforce the laws that are on the books. Sheriff Joe uh, has endorsed our campaign because of my stance on illegal immigration, which basically is enforce the laws on the books. If you've broken the law, you go home, you come back correctly. Simple as that. Uh, I don't favor amnesty because I think, as Dustin just pointed out, it rewards someone who has broken the law. And I don't favor that in any form or fashion. So enforce the laws on the books, go home, come back correctly. And I actually have one other little piece that goes with that. If you come into this country on a worker's permit, then you pay an additional tax into an additional fund, like a Social Security fund, and your medical care comes out of that, you're not eligible for anything. You pay an additional tax on foreign workers in this country, we know who they are, and then your medical care comes out of that you're not eligible for the benefits of American citizens. And you don't vote. Thank you. Dwayne Thompson. And a guy one time who said, well, you know, are we going to try to ship all these 12 million out? I, I don't believe that's feasible. I'm certainly not for amnesty, uh, one, one lift. In fact, what these guys have said is that would be true. The only thing I know to do is, first of all, that way you, you, you got to seal the border. And, you know, we talk about our troops coming back and we start scaling down to foreign countries, which I certainly believe we should. Why don't we use some of these? Why don't we put them 30 days on, 30 days off on our borders and really seal the borders? But we can't do anything until we seal the borders. You've got you to plug up the holes. Once we do that, then let's work on a program and, 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 and allow uh, our illegals to come sign up for either work visas or a citizenship path. Now, all this is workable. How long do we want to make that? Well, we can, we can decide that much ourselves and how long we want to do that. My, what my, my, my proposal is, is to basically give six months of grace to get you signed up on one of these paths. That don't all make, make you a citizen. That just gives you a path, and now we know where you're at. But then in six months, then if we catch you illegal, then we're going to ship you out. If we get some company hiring you, let's just start at 50,000 a pop. We're going to find you 50 grand. But these things we can't do until we seal the border because that's that's why we have so many problems now. We we haven't got the border that the pores filled up. And so what I would, that, that's what I want to do. Or I would suggest, and anything I suggest is work because I, I'm not one. I don't think these guys are either. But I'm not one who thinks my idea is perfect and is going to solve all of our problems. However, I do want to present some ideas and sit down with those that. that, that it's been looked at a lot longer than I have, 
Because the Bible does teach us to seek wise counsel. Well, let's seek counsel from one another. Because we, the people, are the ones that have up these ideas and, make, and, and solve these issues. And I know we can do that. Well, the question is how to prevent illegal immigration. How's the most effective way to handle it? Yeah, well, handle it is to seal the borders. I'm the guy that's done a two-year study on uh, border control and what's been going on specifically on the U.S.-Mexico border. It's 2,000 miles long, about 640 miles of physical barrier, about three and a half million dollars per mile. So uh, there are parts of our uh, southern border that you just can't put up a barrier. What we need is boots on the ground. We need the better use of technology we have, the sensors, the red platforms, etc. Uh, in a paper I wrote uh, about a year or so ago, uh, it's laid out an entire national strategy for dealing with this. How we engage with Latin America, the economic interests, cultural interests uh, that we have, and uh, certainly an interest of who else is in our neighborhood, everything from uh, the Iranians to uh, the Chinese, Russian mafia, uh, Hezbollah, drug cartels, the whole bit. So uh, the only way people become illegal immigrants is they actually to enter the country illegal. Uh, you have to prevent that before you can start dealing with problems on the inside. So securing the borders on the south side with additional manpower, this administration has actually cut funding for additional people on the ground. Uh, the uh, Texas uh, Rangers are having to pick up some of that slack in Arizona and New Mexico as well. The federal government should be reimbursing them for the costs of doing what the federal government should be doing. There's also a problem on our northern border along with Canada. Very few people come in via our ports on the east and west coast, certainly not through our airports. It's all via ground, and it's uh, it actually presents a national security uh, threat. Uh, on the disincentivizing for coming here, if it's easy to get employment, people will come here to take advantage of the benefits and the freedoms that America represents. So in terms of holding uh, employers accountable or uh, having illegals working on the payroll, should we have you fines and penalties for that? as well as a denial of public services that the illegals currently enjoy. So securing borders, removing incentives for coming here is what it's all about. Thank you.